Most of the things that you'll see that we craft in our shop are made with a story or a sense of history or a, some kind of past that is involved in there. They are made with the intention of being a piece of art that is purely functional. The balance of the art and design go hand in hand, but with the idea that they are functional first and foremost. The performance of our products is extremely important to us. Hi, my name is Zach Worrell, and I'm the founder of Monolith Studio here in Charlottesville, Virginia, right in the Blue Ridge Mountains, a really beautiful area. I work with a great team of guys, Nick Watson and Alan Bates, who support me in my efforts to build high-end, custom culinary and sporting knives. Our knives are made by hand with curation and attention to details. Almost all of my material came off of our property or other properties around. I would scavenge logs. I'd, you know, if a storm happened, I'd literally, I'd take my tractor and my trailer and I'd go out with chainsaws and I'd look for logs. And along the way, I came across some really interesting pieces. And being here in, in Charlottesville, which is Thomas Jefferson's home, you know, there's just a lot of history here. You can run into storied wood. You know, somebody will tell you some story about this tree in their yard. This area we're in literally is kind of saturated in American history and I don't know if it's lore, but our property is a part of the Meriwether Lewis family tract of land that was granted to them from the king. So the land is really old. There's old logging trails that are like, you know, 150, 200 years old almost. Along the way, I've kind of amassed this collection and like this is actually some Osage orange that was actually brought back from Lewis's travel on the great exploration he did with uh, Clark. And he brought back these three trees and one of them is planted at Monticello and one of them is planted uh, at his home, which is right down the street. And the third one happened to be planted at our home, which was his niece's house. Some of the work we try to do is to try and convey that story or share a story or, or, or allow people to feel connected to their own past. And um, we do that through the materials that we use. In our world of making our knives, when we have customers and those customers come to us, most of the time, they come into our shop environment and they're blown away. We take that opportunity to show them as much of that as we can and share with them as much of our process. It's that one-on-one -on -one experience that makes what we do unique. So that's the Osage Orange, and we made these out of and that's all local wood, you know, reclaimed and then repurposed and turned into something really cool. In every knife that we make, the experience of that relationship and culture exists. It's instilled through the process of making it. I loved working with my hands. I loved touching things and seeing forms and shapes. It's very true for me that working with my hands and working with tools as a means of achieving objectives to create is extremely important to me and is a huge part of my personal experience. My personal passion is driven by the ability to take an idea, use my hands and the, the, the tools needed to carry that out. When we're making a knife, we are working through a process, and that process involves, at the core of it, a philosophy of placing soul into the finished piece. And what I mean by that is that it's not just a product that we sell and a transaction, and that's the end of it. We're trying to create a piece that as the end user 
takes that with them, they will, if they look and care for it, they will find the enjoyment of using it as a tool or a utilitarian object, and they will, in, a, in essence, kind of be part of that soulful experience.